players pretty much in full strength, apart from Shane Stockton, who's the only long-term absentee at the moment. Yeah, and a good attendance tonight as well. I think it's I think it's one of these things where a Saturday night is always a game of hockey in Kirkcaldy on a Absolutely. Saturday. So a great crowd tonight and a fantastic Absolutely. support by come to there. I mean, credit to the fans who's made the long journey up here for what three days of hockey. So credit to the club and credit to the team that uh, a great support that they've got with them tonight. And your friend and my friend, Mr. Shoot behind the bench there. I know, yes. I, I wonder what goes. I wonder what goes through his head when he comes back here as a coach for the opposite team after having a f fantastic five or six year up here. It must. It must be kind of difficult and strange sort of thing. But credit to Danny, a great guy, great player, and obviously a great coach. So uh, it's still been nice to see him at five. But I've got a lot of time for Danny Shoot. I think he's a great guy. So he is indeed. It's uh, strange seeing him at that side. Yeah, of the I know. Range. I know. And young Renny Mar as well. The, one of the local kids, Renny Mara, a Kirkcaldy kid, so... Yes, uh, behind the bench tonight as we get the game underway on a tripping call already on the Flyers here. Well, this must be the first the Chiron. fastest penalty ever. Chiron's <laughs> going to go for tripping there. Yeah, two minutes for tripping. As it comes now for Jorgen Sinsen. Yeah, good chance to come to it, actually. Bergman. Flyers now getting back to full strength now. Back comes Danny Chiron. It goes again, oh, Bergman, good shot, good yeah, shot, good yeah. shot by Come to there. And Owen beat all ends up. Again, now another shot. The range in on goal, Jorgensen. Oh, nice good tip there by there. Bergman again. Coventry looked hungry for a goal there. Yeah, on. definitely, yeah, obviously they're a power play early doors and certainly one or two chances on the five net early doors. Another good shot, good save there by Owen. A good Good atmosphere tonight, kind of noises so far, yeah. No, very no. good atmosphere in here tonight. Yeah, very good atmosphere. Jackman sends it around. Well, there's an incident there with Jackman. Now, somebody of his status doesn't roll about the ice like that for nothing. He certainly eh? doesn't. Ryan Ding will go to wait and speak to Mr. Craig, so I don't know if the linesman saw anything, but... Mr. Craig certainly asked for the linesman to come across and Ashley Tate coming over as well to see what's going to happen here. But well, Jackman looks in real trouble, actually. Yeah, actually, he does, yeah. I never saw actually what happened there. Good so. atmosphere tonight, kind of noisy so far, yeah. No, very no. good atmosphere in here tonight. Yeah, very good atmosphere. Jackman sends it around. Jackman in real trouble yeah, here. Yeah, he is actually, yeah. As Jackman gingerly makes his way off the ice, paramedics are there as well. So. It's one of these ones, sure, where maybe one or two people in the building saw what happened and a lot of people didn't see what happened there, so... Ashley Tate now for Coventry. Clots up against Paquette. Paquette wins a the puck there. A penalty coming yeah, up here. Flyer's going to get a penalty here. Dingle's away, he's got Fox in the middle. Dingle, oh, oh! Fox could get there and he's in the goal. Well, again. Two penalties. Yeah, two penalties, yeah. One trip in, one holding coming up. Flyers are going to have a great opportunity here on a five on three. Liam Shirt tips it into the zone. Hell Trapped Haynes by Kyle Haynes. Getting taken out by Young Stewart there. Flyers now can break though. Justin Fox to Tunnell. Had to find a way through. Tip behind by Stewart. Fox has it though. Dancing goal! Goal for the Flyers! Ryan Dingle right in front of the net. And it's the Flyers who take the lead over the Coventry Blaze. 1 0. Yeah, good goal there. Ryan Dingle obviously sitting high in the slot there and he managed to get the pass on his stick and right in the bottom corner of the net. A good goal by Ryan Dingle there. Fox has it though. Dancing goal. Goal for the Flyers. Ryan Dingle right in front of the net. Right to Siska is 1 on 1 here, but 
He can't find a way through. He might just find oh, a way through, actually. He's still going. Here yeah, oh, comes to Tunnel. Back he goes. Turon. Siska trying to get something on that. Yeah, Cleared away eventually. A knuckle puck shot there. Here's Almeida. Jorgensen. Oh. Told me I wanted to get involved in the checking side of the game. Good play here by Siska. Mark off the Flyers! Flyer found the way through. And he makes it 2 0 to the Flyers on the power play. Flyers go 2 0 up, and I think Coventry were expecting a penalty. They seem to just. It did just switch off. Yeah, that's right. And I think the Flyers were looking for a penalty as well. And obviously the game has to keep going to the referee blows his whistle. But Mark off for the Flyers. Flyers find the way through. Danny looks none too happy at the moment. That's yeah, sure. an early timeout for Country. So Flyers won't care. They're two 0 up. And Russ Moyer it was with the second goal. As you say, the referees have a tough game, you know, and uh, it's hard for Toby to try and keep up with the play. If the game's so fast and it's end to end, sometimes it, it, we do need two referees. I mean, the game is so fast now. It... So, Flyers with Wands sends it across to Paquette for Nucci. Brooks now to Paquette. Actually, Tate closing down well, yeah, good four checking job by Tate there. Yeah. Clocks as well for Coventry. Soccer out in the end, though. Fenucci, oh, good pass. Five, yeah, Siska, here. he's got Fenucci inside. Siska, Fenucci! Oh! 3-0 Flyers! Oh! Carlo Fenucci makes it 3-0. What a great bit of play that was from the Flyers there. Yeah, good goal, really good goal. Ferrucci inside, Siska, Ferrucci, oh! 3-0 Flyers, Carlo Ferrucci makes it 3-0, what a great bit of play that was from the Flyers there. Yeah. So we're off and running here in the second period, oh look at that, tell you what, my co-commentator's just got <laughs> with, with Chips cheese and curry sauce, what a man. If there's not a lot of commentary during this game, you'll know why. <laughs> here we go. Coventry threatening earlier on through Petrus. There's Arne. Isaacs cuts it out. Haynes. Back for Tanel. Oh, I tell you what, Paget nearly got a goal there. Yeah, good chance for the And another the penalty coming up here. I think Company's going to get a second penalty here, so players are going to go five on three. Five on three for the next 50 seconds. This time it is on Brian Stewart. It was Ben Davis the last time, but Brian Stewart, none too happy. Petrus. Godfrey again. Yeah, passing it around Godfrey. quite well, coming to here, just waiting an opportunity to try and get a shot in the net. Trying to here it come comes. on here, Godfrey. Oh. There yeah, he goes, good, good save by, by Owen. Owen. There, yeah. Equal to that puck, you see it all day long, and he makes another fine save. Coventry come again. Sina. 45 seconds left to the 5 on 3. Dingo's going to go after this for the Flyers. Oh, I think Sina might have just got there first. Dingo will get us here. Oh, what a pass, Paquette. 4 0 to the Flyers. What an incredible goal by Phil Paquette. They're on a 5 on 3 penalty kill. And they make it 4 0. Yeah. Oh, what a pass, Paquette! 4 0 to the Flyers! What an incredible goal by Phil Paquette! I've lost the family bit. 
I've won once this family bet. We're going to go and see the Coca-Cola truck tomorrow. Right. The family and I. And my daughter and I always have a bet to see who sees the advert first with the Coca-Cola truck. Right. And guess what was on tonight while we're sitting here? Coca-Cola truck. Advert. On the telly. On the telly. So what does that mean? You have to buy the tea tomorrow or something? Well... That's what he told me, well. Nicola. <laughs> you believe me? That's what he said. I'll buy them tea if they see that Coca-Cola <laughs> truck. Frankie and Benny's. <laughs> oh, good save by one again. To be fair, he gave me some of his chips and curry sauce, so you, you two will be fine tomorrow. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be fine. Oh, and... Right to catch you there, seemed to look over the top of it. Yeah, it did, yeah. Coventry, though. On possession, Clement leaves it. Godfrey, shot. Oh, oh good goal, very good goal, yeah. I'm not sure who it was, they got the yeah, tip there, it was a Godfrey shot. I think... Uh, um, Someone got a touch on I it. I thought maybe Ashley Tate, to be honest with you, but a good shot for the blue line there. I yeah, think it was Ashley Tate, yeah, yeah. I think Ashley Tate got a wee tip in. We could be wrong, but... 4-1. A good shot for the blue line there. And the deficit reduced to he three here at the Five Ice Arena. Yeah. It's now 4-1. On possession, Clement leaves it. Godfrey, shot. Oh, oh good goal, very good goal, yeah. Flyers on the power play for a minute and ten, a minute and nineteen, sorry, to go in the third period. Oh. A chance for five here, five breaking out. They come come to Blaze back to full strength now, a chance in the flyers net. Oh, chance here for country. Oh, good save by Owen. There's going to be a penalty coming up here. We're not quite sure who's going to get the call here, but doing the timekeeping for the Flyers. Absolutely. Best wishes. I got it to George. Commentary on the power play here. Mark Wads. A good play there. To get it away by Dingle. Oh, Mr. Craig picked up a, a sore one there. The Flyers guy tried to rim it round the boards there. And I think he's going up last if it's OK, but... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You'll feel that tomorrow, that's for sure. So Moya sits for two minutes for tripping. Comes Godfrey again. Shot. Oh, good shot. Goal. Yeah, good goal there. Good goal that by Comte. Yeah, very good shot in the net. Owen made a very good save, but unable to keep a hold of the puck. Fell oh. to the side of the net, and then Comte got another Owen goal. Owen never so. seen that. They come back out, but yeah. the goal given. 4-2. Comes Godfrey again. Shot. Oh, good shot. Goal. Yeah, good goal there. Good goal that by Comte. Yeah, very good shot in the net. Owen made a very good save, but unable to keep a hold of the puck. So 4-2. Coventry, right back up the ice as you would expect. Signer, they got the goal. Must have got a tip on the Godfrey shot. Yeah, you got a good shot from the point here. That Owen made a good save and uh, unable to keep a hold of the puck, and the Coventry guy got the rebound in there. Coventry still on a power play here for the next minute and ten seconds. Signer, the goal scorer. So, Put one, sign it again. Oh, goes another, another goal for goal Coventry. There, yeah. And really all of a goal sudden, by Comte, please, yeah. Great start to the third period by Comte. Oh, goes another, another goal, goal for Coventry. There, yeah. And really all of a goal sudden, by Comte, please, yeah. Flyers run it back. Almost yeah, real one here for a time. Yeah, good chance by Fife. Oh, oh, nobody there that time. He shot, shot the shot. Oh, shot over the net there. Um, Paquette, a little Haynes bit again. And sevens just now. Plenty of people in and around the net. Siska. Siska here, a chance in front of the net for Fox, but um, not on this occasion, I'm afraid. Try to. 
Well, his father was Godfrey Petrus. There's Arne. Oh, good, good save shot, by, good save by Owen, Owen. There, yeah. Good chance for company as well there. Dingle. Fox looking for a break in the puck there. It's Coventry. They come away with it again. Venus. And Paquette charging his way through here. Oh, and Paquette thrown into the boards there. And, and the whistle goes this time. Paquette looks in some discomfort here. Yeah, I think Piquet went in the corner and took the comes the guy out, and then a, a, one of the company players comes straight in and hit Piquet there. So I think he's obviously getting a hit which he wasn't expecting, so unfortunately he's going to have to go off as well. The Flyers players over at Mr. Craig asking if they could, if you saw that call there. But Petrus. Turon. On the ice it goes, Fox. 22 seconds to go. Can he get a shot away here, Flyers? They're desperately hanging on to yeah, this there's lead. there's a broken stick there, not helping proceedings, by the way. One or two of the guys have been hitting the blade of the stick that's broken rather than the puck, but the chance for the Flyers going out here. Five, four, three, two, one. The Flyers win by four goals to three. They hang on and hang on in the end and get a victory over the Coventry Blaze. Yeah, a hard thought uh, third period for five there. They obviously came out quite comfortable and come to were ready to go right at the start of the third period. And you've got to take their hat off the company. They worked extremely hard at the, the, the third period there. Credit to the Flyers here for hanging on. So, man of the match in, who do you think? I'm going to go with you, Bamoya, for five. And I'm going to go with Stuart with Coventry. All right. You. Yeah, well, both shooting not hit wrong on this one, but credit to the, the Compton guy there for getting the man of the match. The other guys didn't get that picked up there, so... There's one or two presentations before it comes to the Flyers' man of the match. Uh, company guys going to appreciate their fans who've come in great numbers for this weekend. Great to see that. A great support for Compton tonight at Fife. Safe travels home. I know they're not going a short distance because they're staying quite local. Yeah, Ryan Dingwall, five flyers, man in the match. A surprise to both Stuart and I, but a good game by Ryan Dingwall. So that's us from the webcast. I hope you've really enjoyed the game tonight. And hope you tune in soon for the next game, which I think is the Belfast Giants. So thanks very much for joining in. So I wish you all a good night. Thanks for me. Night. Bye.